All right, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put your Sapper project onto Netlify. So what you'll need is a Netlify account and a GitHub account, and you'll need a static website. And if you don't know what that means, I'll just briefly say, um, if you haven't done much here in the server, then you should be fine. So, but static website just means that whoever goes to your website, they'll all get the same thing. So there's no logging in, there's no like rendering uh, different stuff based on the user. It's just one site for everyone. Okay, and it talks about it a bit here. So we're going to use exporting with Sapper, which it says here that you can then use it on Netlify. So in your website, needs to be static. Okay, so I already have my project. Here it is. Uh, if you don't have a project yet, you can make one. Look at other videos if you don't know how to do that. So I have my project here. And from the command line, here I am in my project. I'm going to get init. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to just get status to look at all this. Okay, so I'm going to git add all and then git commit. Oh, that's taking a while. Git commit minus m first commit. Okay, so now that's all good. You've uh, committed your changes. So now come to your GitHub account and create a repository. And I'll name it sapper for Netlify, no description, nah, okay, create repository. So it's going to tell you here what you can do. So get init, I did that, get add readme, I didn't do that, but that's fine. Get commit, okay, then we need to get remote add this right here, and then get push minus u origin master right there. Cool, so this is going to push it all up to this git repository. So just do what I did. Um, I often will get weird errors. So if you get any of those, just leave a comment. Hopefully someone can help you out. Uh, it's still pushing, so it hasn't updated or anything yet. But so over here, you're going to do new site from Git and continuous deployment, GitHub. And it's going to, so I already authorized it before, but it might ask you. So here's my sapper for Netlify. Uh, branch to deploy, master. OK, build command. So the build command that you're going to do is this export thing. So uh, this says npx sapper export. Um, I think a better, let me see. So in my package.json, you can do npm run export. That should be fine. So npm run export, that's what the build command will be. And when you run that, it exports to something called Sapper underscore or uh, underscore is two underscores sapper, and then it'll be in a folder called export. So I haven't ran it in my local yet, so it's not there. But just trust me, it'll be called export. Okay, so I can deploy site. Let me just make sure this has been pushed already. Okay, yeah. Cool. So deploy site, and let's see if this works. So it's going to take a bit for it to deploy. Um, I'll stop the video and then start it again once it's deployed. OK, so here it is done uh, deploying. And you can just click on it there. And now it is hosted here on Netlify. So that's pretty cool. Anyone can access this. I can share it with all my friends. And it's really easy to set up a custom domain if you want. You just type in like whatever you want, and it'll tell you um, if it's available. So let's see if this is available. Oh, it's invalid. Anyway, you can play around with that. I just wanted to show you two. Let's say I want to change something. So here in my project, um, let's say I want it to be a different color. So right now I have background colors turquoise, but let's say I want it to be um, something like salmon. OK, so I can save that. And then I'll add that in, git add static global git commit minus m um, change background color okay and then git push origin master okay so this will push it up to github and i think by default it has it as continuous deploy um let me see yeah this might take a while again but um it should just automatically update so let's take a look here yeah you'll see it's building already so i just i just pushed that up and now it's building my next one so we can look at the deploy log and it's throwing these it looks like 
um, issues because I, uh, in index.svelte, I took out the p tag. So this p tag isn't being used. So I could save that and commit it and push it again, but I won't do that yet. Cool, so it says site is live um, here. So if I refresh it, now you can see it has the salmon background color. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. There's lots of cool things you can do with Netlify. Let me know if you have questions and bye.